Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be taking a look at some Father's Day gift ideas in 2022. Now, I know it can be difficult trying to find that perfect gift for your father, especially those fathers that you say have everything. So I'm going to offer you some options, and hopefully it will make your buying experience a little bit easier. I want to thank all the companies that send the items that I'll be showcasing in this video. And if you're interested in checking out any of them or picking any of them up, feel free to look at the description box below for all the links to every single item I'll be showcasing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the items. All right, so the first item we're going to be taking a look at is the booby bottle. Now, I think these bottles are great, especially for that dad that is on the go and wants to be prepared. I actually keep one of these in my car at all times because of how useful and versatile it is. So I have three different size options here, so I'll go ahead and show you guys that. This particular one here is their 14 size, 14 ounce size option, 414 milliliters. Now, the booby bottle is a silicone bottle. It is BPA-free and eco-friendly. Now, they do have a couple of the options and different things that you have with the booby bottle here on the side. So it says easy to clean. You could use it for food storage. It's fire resistant, BPA-free, freezer safe, microwavable. You can store hot beverages in it, FDA Rota standards, and historically healthy. On the back of the packaging here, you can see the color. This one is called the Citrus. And this one is 2.75 inches wide by 6 inches tall. So let's go ahead and open up the packaging so you can take a look at it. Now it comes rolled up in this, what they call their roll and go, roll and go function. And that's one of the things that I really like. You can store it in a very small form factor, you just roll it up, use the included aluminum carabiner here to actually hold it in place, and you can set this pretty much anywhere. It fits really nice in my center console. And then when I need to use it, all you have to do is take off the carabiner and then roll it up roll it up and then you have your bottle here. So you have a pretty wide mouth on the top here, which does have this insert inside of it, which is good because it makes it a lot easier to drink out of because you don't have that wide hole that you have to drink out of it. But if you want to maybe fill it up with ice or something like that, you can go ahead and remove the cap and then you have this large opening. The cool thing is that you can use the booby bottle for a lot of different options also. You can fill it up with some water and some ice and it becomes a cold compress. Or you can fill it up with water, either hot water or heat up the water in the microwave, and then it becomes a hot compress, which is nice because, again, you can use it for more than just drinking water out of. If you have some ailments or something like that, you can use it like that. Because it's BPA-free, you can also use it to store some dry goods. So if you want to go out camping and you want to store some like trail mix or something like that inside of there, you can do that. Maybe you're going to the beach and you want to store your keys and some cash on, you know, in a bottle that, you know, it's going to keep it, um, you know, from getting sand or water inside of it or anything like that. You can go ahead and do that as well. Now we'll go ahead and replace the lid right here, put the insert and then screw back on the cap. And there you go. So here is the 14 ounce size booby bottle. Again, you have a couple other options. We'll take a look at this one here. This is the 22 ounce one. Uh, this particular one is 2.75 inches wide. So again, same width as this one, but it is nine inches tall. And this one is in their camo edition. So we'll open this one up. Again, same aluminum D-ring there, carabiner. Take that off and unroll it. And this is a really cool, interesting look to the bottle. Again, it's camo. So you have this greens and yellows kind of going throughout. And then we'll go ahead and take off the cap there and then the same insert. Now, I did want to show you another option that you have available for a cap. And it's this one right here. It's called the Leak Resistant Fill Cap. And this is just to give you another option instead of having to use the one there. So this particular one actually has a um, valve inside of it so it is a bite valve so you can use it you know either biting hard on it and then getting a lot of liquid out or you can bite softly to get a little bit of liquid out you can actually open up the hole right there to get more liquid if you wanted to but this is perfect because then it gives you that other option instead of just um, having to chug out of the large opening you can just screw that onto any booby bottle and then you have your bite out right there. So again, I think the booby bottle is a great option. Like I mentioned, those dads that are on the go, um, you know, always outside and, and want to, you know, have an option to carry different, um, different things. So this is the 35 ounce one here. And this one is in the blue color. 
<clears throat> I'll just open it up so you guys can see it next to the other ones so you can get a reference for the size. Let me just open up the cap. <clears throat> Fill it up with a little bit of air and then we'll see it here. So here are the three different sizes. So again, the 14 ounce one, the 22 or the yeah the 22 ounce one, and then the 35 ounce one. Again, the 22 ounce one does have that leak resistant fill cap on it already. So great options for any dads. Again, if you're interested, feel free to take a look at the links in the description below. On to the next item. All right, so taking a look at our next item, this is one that a lot of fathers end up receiving for Father's Day, and that is a wallet. So if you're looking for a wallet for your father, why not? give them one that is gonna be nice and high tech, looks really nice and minimalist to boot. So this is a wallet from a company called Allet. And in the back here, you can see this is their sports wallet. This one right here is the leather edition of the sports wallet and it's RFID blocking in the Merlot color. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, here it is. So you guys can see it is a nice kind of reddish brown color and I really like this particular color because it kind of goes away from the traditional blacks or brown color wallets that fathers end up receiving for Father's Day. Uh, as you can see also it is a very small form factor so this would be a perfect minimalist front pocket wallet. So as you open it up it is a bifold. Uh, you do have a little card inside here that says Alex made in California since 1995 so that's great. And then on the inside, you have this really nice kind of contrasting orange color. Now, as I mentioned, the outside is um, RFID blocking and it is leather. This particular uh, leather is uh, high quality, top grain Napa leather. And then the interior is made from a durable, tear-proof, um, ripstop nylon. So it is very, very lightweight, which is really nice also. This particular wallet has the ability to hold anywhere from 10, or from two to 10 cards plus cash and then whatever else you want to stick in the um, receipt in the cash area right here. So if you want to put receipts or something like that, that is cool too. So you do have two pockets on the side here where your cards are going to be stored. And then on the inside of the pockets, you also have a, um, a it's almost like a lining. So it's, it's called the extra secure no slip card grip. So let me see if I can show you guys. It's like a little bit of a lining. It's, it's kind of tacky. So when you put your cards in there or your IDs or whatnot, they're not going to fall out. So let me go ahead and show you guys here with one of my test cards. So as you slide that in, you can slide another one on the other side here. And that's where your cards will go. Enough of the card sticks out so you can go ahead and fan through them and take them out if you need to, especially if you're putting multiple cards in there. So let's go ahead and put up, put a couple more. So that's another one on that side. And then another one on that side. So right now there's four cards in there. As you guys can see, it still keeps a nice and thin form factor. I've got some bills here. I have about four bills. And these are American size bills. So as you take these out, you can go ahead and slide them into that black pocket there. And again, nice and secure, nice and slim form factor. Really easy to go ahead and just slide into um, your front pocket if you wanted to. There is the Allet logo on the outside there, but it is color matched to the color of the wallet, which is nice, so it's not gonna you know, be flashy or sticking out or anything. And then you just have the name right here and says Made in California um, on the bottom there. And you guys can make it out. So really, really awesome um, choice if you're gonna end up picking a wallet to give to your father this Father's Day. Now, as an added bonus, if you wanted to, you can also include one of these here. And this is one of their micro pens. I really, really love the packaging here. It comes in this little um, kind of wooden cube here. So on the top, you go ahead and open it up. It has like a little plug in there. And then the pen just slides right out. So this pen does have a clip and it does have the logo of the company right there. And then you just turn it to expose the tip there. Really, really awesome thin little pen that you can uh, pair with the wallet. But the cool thing is the wallet also has a hidden pocket right up here. I don't know if you guys can make it out where the pen just slides right into. So you can actually carry the pen with the wallet. It still keeps that nice thin form factor, slide it in your front pocket if you need to, and it's ready to go. So I think this particular wallet would be a great option for any father out there, especially those that want to keep a minimalist form factor. They just want to carry a couple cards and some cash, maybe include the pen so you ha always have a pen with you. And then it's, uh, it's nice and thin, slide it in your front pocket, 
good to go and it'll make for a great gift. So if you guys are interested, feel free to take a look at the link below. On to the next item. All right guys, so taking a look at the third item, this is gonna be a pair of shoes from a company called Cross Kicks. It comes in this box here with the logo right on the top. And on the side, you just have the size and some information on the color. This particular one is the Cross Kicks 2.0 in the Atlantic color. Now, I chose this particular color because it is very vibrant and I wanted that specifically for these shoes. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. And here they are. As you guys can see, it is a really awesome and unique styling on the shoe. I like the fact that it has this kind of ribbing look on the top because it makes it look a lot different than some of the other shoes on the market. You do have the logo on the strap right here and then uh, the logo on the button right here. Now, the really cool thing about this shoe and what sets it aside from a lot of other shoes is the fact that you have an adjustable um, inset strap right here. So what that means is that if you wanted to go ahead and um, keep it tight like you see it here because you're going to be doing some uh, activities where you don't want your shoes to kind of fall off very easily. Um, you know, where these particular shoes shine is they're excellent for any water recreation or activity. So things like boating, fishing, um, you know, just wading through the water, walking on the beach or something like that. These are going to be perfect for that. So if you wanted to, you know, keep them, you know, nice and secure, you can go ahead and put it right there. If not, you just lift it up and bring it over to the lowest portion right here. That's gonna make them a little bit more loose, easier to kind of slip in and out. So again, if you're walking to the beach, but you wanna just take them off and leave them by your, you know, your towel or your chair or something like that, where as you go in the water, you can go ahead and do that as well. They have holes all the way around. So, you know, the water's not gonna be trapped in there. So again, perfect for water activities. And then I like this insert in the back here, this foam insert. Now, the whole shoe is foam, so it's gonna be lightweight, very comfortable, but it has this extra kind insert here and I always find that when I use shoes similar to these this is the area that kind of rubs me um, a little bit more when I'm using the shoes for a long time so I like the fact that they included that because it makes it a little bit higher a little bit more comfortable especially in the back of your heel there as you guys can see the bottom there you do have this kind of more tennis shoe look to it so it's gonna be perfect for other activities so if you find yourself maybe you know walking through the trails or something like that you can still go ahead and use the cross kicks because they're gonna be able to keep up with pretty much whatever it is that you need so again this particular color is called Atlantic but it is available in a ton of different colors so if you guys are interested in picking up something like this for your father who is you know always doing water activities maybe washing the car maybe doing stuff out in the garden or something like that in the yard mowing the grass these will be perfect for that you can just slip them on and do whatever it is that you need go ahead and take out take a look at the link in the description below if you want to find out some more information or pick one of them up for your father this father's day all right so taking a look at the last item this is actually going to be two different items first one is this one here this is from a company called think tank and this is their freeway long haul uh, bag this particular bag actually comes in two different sizes. This one here is the 50, and they do have a larger one, which is the 75. So if you have a father in your family that likes to carry a lot of gear, maybe in their car, um, and it's kind of rolling around in the trunk or something like that, this is a perfect gift for them. This allows them to kind of store everything that they're going to need in one location. Now the beauty of the long haul here is you can also use it for specific circumstances. So if you're going to a park, if you're going to the beach, if you're gonna be doing activities where you're gonna be carrying a lot of different items and you wanna consolidate them into one location, the long haul is the perfect thing for that. So um, just taking a look at it again, it is this is the 50. It is a larger size bag, which is great because it's gonna store a lot of stuff inside. So we'll take a look at the outside first. Right in the front here, you do have a zippered pocket which is perfect for smaller items that you don't want to um, kind of dig inside of the bigger uh, pocket for. It's nice and deep, so you can put a lot of stuff in there. You do have um, a lot of grab handles all around the bag, so you have one right here. There's a lot of thought process that went into making these bags. I think Think Tank did a great job at kind of thinking what exactly is it that we need and then multiplying it because you have it all over the place. So again, in the front right there, you do have that. You have these loops here, so if you want to hang stuff from them, you can go ahead and do that. Maybe put a carabiner on there and hang some stuff on the outside. That is perfect. This particular one is in this green color, which is really nice. 
And then if you come over to one side here, you have a larger kind of stash pocket in there. You just drop stuff inside of it. This is perfect for some quick grab items, things that you want to be able to grab right away. So maybe if you're going to the beach and you want to put a towel there, you know, that's going to be the first thing that you grab. Or it's large enough. So if you, you know, maybe you want to take off your shoes and put them in there, you can go ahead and do that. You have a similar pocket on the other side here, but this one is mesh. So you can actually see what's in there. So again, perfect for the beach if you want to put some stuff in there and then if it gets sandy it'll actually come off then you can go ahead and do that again a grab handle on this side and then grab handle on the other side so this makes it perfectly and very easily to be able to grab the bag like this if you needed to then onto the bag the back uh, you do have another kind of stash pocket right in there not as wide as the ones on the side but again this one is perfect to kind of drop maybe like your cell phone keys and stuff like that if you want to keep it in there or if not you can keep it in the zipper pocket on the other side and then another grab handle on this side. Now all of these handles are actually um, bar square and cross um, tack down. So they're gonna be able to support the majority of the weight that you're gonna have in there just by the grab handles right there, which is really nice. You're not gonna have to worry about them coming unstitched or anything like that. Again, you do have those webbing loops in the back here. So if you wanna attach things to it, you can go ahead and do that. You also have these plastic D-rings all around. And what that does is it allows you to um, put on the shoulder strap here, nice thickly padded shoulder strap. You do have the gate clips right here. And then you have six positions all around the bag to be able to do that. So if you wanna go with the traditional one from side to side, you can do that. If you wanna put it from corner to corner, you can choose which corner to do that on. And you can go ahead and make that load a little bit easier to carry, especially if you weigh this down. You also have this grab handle at the top here, and you do have a section here that's padded, and you can connect them if you wanted to. You can use this to actually hold the bag as well. And then onto the main compartment here, it is zippered close. So um, the cool thing about it is, is that it unzips and pretty much you have full access to everything. So it's not a zipper down the middle where you have to kind of spread it open or anything like that. These are YKK zippers, so they are very nice. They run really smoothly on the track. So as you zip it all the way around, you see here is the flap of the top here. You can actually bring this flap down and if you want it out of the way, there's a pocket right on the inside here that that stash is into. So that way, if you're gonna be going in and out of the um, long haul here, you're not gonna have to worry about having to unzip it and open up the, um, the, the, the cover and everything every single time that you're gonna get into. Again, this is nice and lightweight to begin with. It's about two and a half or two point, or yeah, 2.3 pounds. Um, so, you know, it starts off very light, which is nice. Now you do have a large opening in here, but it comes with this divider that you can either put on or take off if you wanted to. Right now, as you guys can see, I have it on there. So you have two different options, two different sides to put stuff in. Now the divider is actually really cool because it's not a flimsy divider like you might find in some other bags. It's actually pretty sturdy, but it's Velcroed all the way around. So on the bottom and on both of the walls. And then you also have like this, uh, these little tabs that kind of come down and secure that divider in place. So that is really cool. Also on one side of the divider, you also have a pocket and it is uh, Velcro closed. And this is perfect to put some items in there that again, you might wanna be able to grab real quick and not have to dig through the bag itself to be able to do that. Now the bag is waterproof, so it, or, or water resistant, I should say, not waterproof, water resistant. So if you have, you know, this at the beach or something like that, it's not gonna get um, too wet inside, but again, it is not waterproof. So um, it cannot be submerged in water. Now this particular bag, um, it's not, at first glance you might think it, it would be like a cooler bag. It's not actually a cooler, so it doesn't have that type of um, lining on the inside, but if you wanted to put some, some drinks or something like that in there for a little bit, you can probably do that, some food, especially if you're going to the beach or on a picnic or something like that. This uh, definitely serve you well. So I think this is a great option for any father out there, again, like myself, that carries a lot of stuff. Maybe, you know, you keep it in your car and then that's where you have all your tools and stuff like that. Great organization on the outside before even having to get into the bag, but then a lot of room inside of the bag, as you guys can see here, um, so you could fit a lot of things. And then this one is the 50, so they do make a larger option, which is the 75. So let's go ahead and take a look at another bag from Think Tank.
All right, so taking a look at another bag from Think Tank, this is their Retrospective 50 Duffel. Now, as you can see, in, in contrast to the one I showed you previously, this is more of a kind of weekender duffel. This is perfect for any dad that is always going on, you know, impromptu trips and things like that. Maybe you just want to throw some stuff on uh, inside for a weekend getaway, two to three days. I think this bag would definitely fit that bill. Um, I love the, the look of the bag itself. It's this green color with these dark brown leather accents all around. It looks very masculine, which is nice. Um, and I think, you know, any father that would receive this bag is instantly going to fall in love with it and, you know, be able to use it for pretty much anything that they would need. I'm showing it to you right now in its collapsed state, just so you guys can see how you know, flat it packs down to. So this is perfect if you don't have a lot of room to store the bag. So if you have a traditional rolling bag, you know, you always have to sacrifice some closet space to be able to fit that bag into it. Here with the Retrospective 50, you can just, you know, kind of cinch it down and then this will easily slide underneath the bed or something like that and it's out of the way until you need to use it again. As I mentioned, the color is really nice. It almost looks like this crackling stone color. Um, very gentlemanly, very rugged. Um, I think any father would definitely love it again. So taking a look at the outside of the bag first, we're gonna be looking at the straps here, uh, the carry handles, I should say. Um, very, very rugged. You do have these um, leather accents on the in the middle here, which makes it very, very comfortable to to carry they seamlessly kind of come together and you can grab them and carry them and then they actually transition the uh, the strap itself all the way down the side of the bag now you do have the box and square stitching right here so it's gonna you know hold it securely in place and then you also have a grab handle here on the side also that is actually boxed and square stitched uh, and cross stitch, I should say. So it's not going to come loose, especially if you're using it and this uh, this bag is kind of, you know, packed down. Um, it's going to be able to handle a lot of the weight. Uh, you do have a small little um, a logo right here for the company. So Think Tank. And then again, it is leather. Um, it's a little leather patch. So it's nice and stitched on there. It looks very, very nice. Very, um, you, you know, it, it just matches the bag very nicely. On the opposite side, again, you have the carry handles kind of go all the way down the side, and then you have the grab handle on the side as well. Now, you do have a pocket on this side with this nice oversized YKK zipper, and you do have a leather um, kind of loop attached to it. Very easy to get to. Um, this is a great pocket, especially because it's on the outside. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. You can see it's nice and deep. You can easily fit a water bottle in there. But this will be perfect for those quick grab items like your keys, your phone, your wallet, things like that, that you just you know want to have it on the outside without having to go into the inside of the bag. That's a perfect pocket for it, and it is very, very wide. Now, on the sides right here, you do have an attachment point for your shoulder strap. It's a metal D-ring here. And then again, you have this leather accent that is boxed and square stitched. So it's going to be um, very secure. And then you have the same kind of stylings on the handles on the side right here all the way down the bag. You do have a pull or grab handle there as well. And then the same thing on the opposite side. So as I mentioned in the previous bag, Think Tank does a great job at you know, putting these um, different grab handles and um, the stitching and everything that is going to, you know, make sense. So no matter how you have this bag, maybe you're in a plane and you have it as an overhead compartment, you have a handle right here that's easy to pull. Maybe you have it in your trunk and you, um, you have it this way. It's going to be very easy to pull and you have a grab handle on all sides, which will be able to accommodate you with that. Now down in the center portion here, you do have again a, um, a zipper. Now this this uh, it's a wider track zipper, YKK zippers, and they can go from side to side, or you can have them in the middle and then open it up on either side. Again with those pull handles, those leather pull handles, they look really really cool. So you pull that open, and we'll go ahead and kind of make the bag stand out a little bit. And inside, you'll have your shoulder strap here. Again, it matches the color and stylings of the bag itself perfectly. Nice and thick padding here on this portion. And then on the bottom, you also have these additions, which kind of help it from not sliding around. It's a little bit grippy, so it'll stay on your shoulder. And then on the side, you have your little um, uh, clips right here that attach onto the bag. They are metal, nice and sturdy. So it, it goes with the whole aesthetics of the bag. You can just put it right there and it looks really, really nice, and it's gonna function very nice as well. 
So onto the inside of the bag, and I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. That outside pocket does come into the bag, so it creates uh, almost like a like a pocket on in here. So just keep that in mind. Whatever you put on the outside will take up a little bit of the room on the inside of the bag. So especially if you're putting a larger item like a water bottle or something like that, that's going to take up a little room on the inside. But besides that, it is just one large opening here. And again, this is perfect to fit majority of items, especially if you're going on a, a weekend trip or something like that. I think your father, um, the, the fathers in your family are going to be able to um, appreciate how much room this bag actually offers. It doesn't look like it would fit a lot from the outside of, the, of, of when you see it on the outside because it's a nice compact form factor. But again, this is the retrospective duffel 50. So um, it's going to store a lot of items on the inside there. So I can easily store a pair of shoes, um, a toiletry kit and uh, two to three days worth of clothing in here and I'll be um, good to go. Now the one item that is not included in this or the one capability is not, it doesn't have anywhere to put something like an electronic device so like a laptop or a computer or something like that. So just keep that in mind. If you are gonna be storing something like that in here, it should go into its own protective sleeve. So I think for the most part, this is gonna be a great option um, for any father out there, but especially those that are gonna appreciate the nostalgia factor of how the retrospective duffel 50 looks. Um, again, it, it you know it comes it collapses nice and, and thin, so you can easily put this away. But it's going to be one of those bags that your father will always keep kind of coming back to and using for years to come. All right, guys. So hopefully that gave you a good idea as far as what's out there to pick up for your father on this Father's Day. I think those are a lot of great options, especially from the booby bottle to be able to have in your car to always have, depending on what you need it for, to the outlet wallet, a modern take on a gift that normally gets given out for Father's Day, to the cross kicks, a great new option and new look to a shoe that can be used for a lot of different options, and then down to the bags from Think Tank. The um, freeway long haul is a great option, especially for fathers like myself who carry a lot of gear and go on different adventures. Down to the retrospective Duffel 50, a nice gentlemanly look to a bag that can be used for a weekend getaway or pretty much anything. So if you guys are interested, all the links to these products will be in the description below. And again, I want to thank all the companies that sent them out so I can check them out and then show them to you guys to hopefully make your buying experience a little easier. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.